In this video, we're gonna talk about Zero Density's new product, Lino, their on-air graphic solution. Real quick, you're watching VP Land. Special thanks to our sponsors, Blackmagic View and Lucidlink for helping make our NAB coverage possible. And now, back to the video. All right, uh, so we're here at Zero Density. Uh, Onera, tell me, just a quick overview, what is Zero Density? Sure. First of all, thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Zero Density is a technology company. We started as a software developer back in 2014. And in 2016, we have released our flagship product, Reality Software. Today, we provide a full turnkey solution for augmented reality, extended reality, and virtual studio applications for broadcasters. We provide the software, computer hardware, camera tracking, talent tracking solutions, and now conventional overlay CG, lower thirds, channel branding as well. Okay. Uh, and yeah, tell me what, I know it's a lot with graphics, so what are the updates here with Lino? Um, so Lino is a very interesting and a very exciting product for us, for sure. It is the latest and the newest uh, product in our portfolio. Uh, again, as I mentioned, we have a very established position in the virtual studio market in broadcasting. And now with Lino, we are entering the conventional lower tiers and overlay CG market. Mm -hmm. So this will be competing directly with the conventional um, graphics vendors in the market. And one of the nice things about Lino that we are excited about is uh, it is all controlled by our single control application, which is Reality Hub. And uh, it also involves conventional template-based design tools. So we are all based on Unreal Engine, which is a next generation game engine technology. Uh, with tools like Lino, we are lowering the entry barrier into the world of Unreal Engine. So all conventional uh, graphic designers, they're able to utilize these tools. They're able to learn these tools within maybe hours and start uh, creating content in Unreal Engine, which was previously considered as a completely separate ecosystem than the other conventional graphics tools. Now we are unifying all of these assets for once on the Unreal Engine side. That's, all right, that's, that's awesome. What, uh, what other trends have you been seeing just with smaller studios being able to kind of harness the power of uh, virtual production or level up their studio experience? Um, so with full transparency, most of our business and uh, footprint is uh, with the enterprise clients and uh, broadcasters. But we have some encouraging and very supportive uh, programs uh, for smaller studios, for educational institutions. It is called Open Studio Program. Uh, so if you're familiar with Unreal Engine's new monetization policy, if a certain organization is generating revenue under a million dollar per year, they get access to the full software suite for free. We double down on that idea and we provide our own proprietary software, which is based on Unreal Engine, which includes Lino, our proprietary keyer, control application, our own compositor for free, and uh, they can start freelancing or they can start their small business using this cutting edge industry leading technology. And if a university has an educational purposes project, they also get access to the free software. Nice. That's awesome. That's very exciting. Um, now, even just going back to your larger enterprise clients, what kind of trends are you seeing in the next year or two years with virtual production technology and like what uh, possibilities it can open up? Um, so one of our major clients, they have a very famous next generation weather presentation. So instead of utilizing a 2D flat weather map on the background with just a green background, they enter into the 3D world of Unreal Engine. And for example, they walk uh, on the surface of, for example, Bay Area as a giant. They point, hey, there's going to be some fog here, some rain here, and all of those 3D photorealistic graphics are tied to the weather application. So weather is definitely an important driver. Uh, and the second thing is the ability to enhance small spaces to multi-million dollar looking studios. Uh, that is also creating lots of interest. Uh, we just had an interesting panel uh, involving Spectrum News, for example. Uh, they have a tiny, tiny green studio space. And with our technology, with a very small green cyclorama, they're able to produce a multi-million dollar looking uh, show, um, maybe uh, for the fraction of the actual hard set. So um, 
enhancing small spaces and visual storytelling on weather and sport, we see that these are the drivers in the broadcast yeah. market. Uh, where are you seeing kind of more growth? Because you have demos here with both uh, green screen, you have their keyer, and then also um, like LED wall uh, studios. Where, where are you seeing more of the growth? Um, so uh, most of our install base uh, is uh, certainly in the green studio space. We have uh, full capacity and capability in the LED based solutions as well. But um, honestly, with all the tariffs and you know uh, potential price hikes in the LED, we will see how uh, it rolls out this year. Uh, but Lino is very exciting for us for sure because uh, most of our businesses right now in virtual studio, augmented reality, and extended reality, uh, and the bigger market is certainly uh, the motion graphics, lower terms channel market, uh, channel branding markets. Uh, and with Lino, we are entering to that market. Um, so uh, we are the newer player uh, in that market. We understand that and we are uh, positioning ourselves according to that. But uh, that is the high growth potential for sure. Yeah. Yes. Well, cool. Thank you for the update. Really Thank you so it. much. Thanks. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And thanks again to our sponsors for helping make our NAB coverage possible. For more NAB videos, be sure to check out our playlist with all of our NAB coverage. Catch you in the next episode.